chair. Thank if you. If you saw the sign when we were coming in, these caves were discovered in 1895 by a guy named Charles Darrow. He was an attorney down in Glenwood Springs. He bought 100 acres up here on the mountain. He was hoping to find some silver, or some gold maybe, but he did not find anything like that. Instead, he found a hole in the mountain that was whistling at him, so he knew the wind was blowing out through there. Brought some guys up with some dynamite, blew it open a little bit bigger, and discovered the caves here, and decided to start giving tours. He, he gave tours until about 1915. Now, with those historic tours, you would actually ride a, a donkey up the side of the mountain, ride a burrow up here. So, like, it had to be really nice weather, and the, the donkey had to be in a good mood, you know. He charged people 50 cents a piece, which is about $13 nowadays. So this is a limestone cave. 98% of the caves in the world are made from limestone. And limestone is just basically shells and bone that's been just swooshed down over millions of years. It used to be a shallow sea covering this area. All the creatures that lived and then died in that sea, their bones and their shells float down to the bottom. The water over time compresses it down and you get limestone like this. Now, about 300 million years ago, the hot springs, the same hot springs we have down in town, were up this high here. And at the time, it had sulfuric acid in it, too. So that carved away a lot of the limestone. And also, you get another kind of acid called carbonic acid, which is basically like the, uh, the fizz in your soda. It's like a Tums tablet. That would be rainwater. As it's seeping down through the ground, the rain is coming down through plant and animal material. Picking up carbon dioxide from that, so it's like carbonating the rainwater, turns it to like a foamy acid that comes down, picks up a little bit of that limestone, a little bit of calcite, a little tiny bit of bone as it's coming down, comes into the cave here, and it's it, the pressure changes it back to water, like with that fizz you get when you open your soda. When does it finish? When does what finish? <laughs> the cave is still growing. There's still, you know, every little bit of rain, every bit of water dripping down here is bringing with a little bit of calcite, and it's growing and growing. So uh, we're about 30 feet underground here now. Now, with this first part of the tour, it's the, like the historic part. And back in the 1890s and 1900s, Darrow would actually let people snap off stalactites as a souvenir. That's before they knew it takes a thousand years to grow one inch. So it, all the formations that we do see later on, keep in mind, again, it takes a thousand years to grow just one cubic inch. So that's why in this first part you don't really see many. Uh, you can see, like right above us here, all these little nubs on the ceiling. They're still alive, they're still dripping, but those were once actually big stalactites. And can we touch it? No. <laughs> then they would not be alive anymore. That's what the touch rocks were for outside, yeah. Especially if you put your hands in your pockets or cross your arms sometimes, you know. But as we go deeper in, we'll get to see a lot more formations. Now also, like I said, we, we are three stories down, we're 30 feet down, but we've got some living tree roots down here. As you step through the arch where I am and you come into this spotlight on the ground, look up and behind you to your right, you'll see some living tree roots, some black gnarly sticks and hair looking stuff. It's actually a really tree root. to the start of the trail. Yeah.
So we saw what it looked like once you put it in the snow. Now everybody in the tour would have got one of these. Yeah, way up there. Then we're going to need them in the next room there. Can we touch the water? I know. And you wouldn't want to. It's, it's got like a green glow if you look at it under the black lights. It's not, it's not really as clear. Yeah, maybe. Je n'ai pas besoin de la pâte. Je n'ai pas besoin de la pâte. Je n'ai pas Which one? That one. That nah, is good. Y'all yeah, just a scary head. Of course. You think that is good? Oh, oh I'm gonna bounce on something. That's the camera. Yeah, you can't say water. You guys do one of these things. <laughs> oh, guess there's no more of these. Then stop moving. Uh -huh. Frank, oh, 